So everyone is always so excited about moving out for the first time. And you know, it's an amazing thing. You're moving out, the idea is so cool in your head. And then I've never met anyone though, that actually likes the process of moving out. Like that process itself basically sucks so much. And on top of that, moving out for the first time and finding out, yeah, I gotta pay for everything. And if I don't have something, I can't use it, okay? So it kinda sucks, the whole thing sucks, but the idea is so cool. And it can be a little daunting. So the whole goal of this video is to help you and make it a little bit more simpler by giving you a little checklist, not just for, hey, you need a bed, obviously you need a bed, but also what do you need for the bedroom, the living room, the kitchen, and also the bathrooms. The first time when I got my first apartment, I went in there, did a whole grocery list, and then I came back home and realized, yo, I don't have any knives, <laughs> I don't have any spoons. Like, what am I gonna do here? Like, I thought this stuff just came with the apartment. Nah, it doesn't come with it, okay? So, all these little details I'm gonna include in this video, but just do me one favor, aside from smashing the like button, and that's to basically close Amazon close Wayfair, and stop listening to those ads you've been getting about a Casper mattress or a Nectar mattress or a memory foam mattress that costs over $1,000 and is gonna cure your back pain. Forget about that stuff for a second and watch this entire video because I guarantee you, if you're very cheap, like I am, you can do this entire thing for like $500. If you're a little bougie, like I am also, you can do it for like $2,000 to $3,000, okay? So it all depends on your budget and what you're willing to do, but the answer is you don't have to spend that much money, as much as you probably think you're gonna have to spend. And by the way, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tommy Bryson, and like my grandma says, get what you need now, and then worry about the rest later. So let's get right into this list. The first thing is obviously the bedroom. I think that's the most important thing. Most people tend to worry about the living room, but honestly, like that's more about when somebody comes over, like what they're gonna see, worry about yourself first. So the bedroom to me is always gonna be first, okay? So here's how you get all the bedroom stuff for super cheap. So for the bedroom, the first and most important thing is obviously gonna be a mattress. I'm gonna tell you something. When I bought my first mattress with my own money, I spent over $1,000, like a complete idiot. Believe in all the hype, believe in everything out there, so stupid. Because if I could start all over again, and by the way, I don't own a $1,000 mattress anymore, my little sister gets to enjoy it because I moved across country and I could not take it with me. So there you go, she gets it. I don't have it, okay? But he, I'm, I'm kind of mad, okay? But let's let's move on because this video is to help you guys, okay? But a mattress. Here's what I would do. This is the only item I would not buy used because everything else you can basically buy used, but I don't buy used mattresses because in reality, bed bugs and so on, and I'm not a big fan of that, and I used to live in New York, and you don't want that in your house, okay? But here it is. You want to go over, not to your local store, but just go over to Amazon. This right here costs $135. It's a pretty good mattress, honestly, in my opinion. And yeah, guess what it's made out of? Foam. Every mattress is made out of foam. And by the way, this is a full size. If you want a twin size, it's going to be obviously a little cheaper. If you want a king size, it's obviously going to be more expensive. But overall, a full size is good for one person or two people. And it's $135. And guess what it doesn't cost? It doesn't cost $1,000 or $1,200 if you go with one of those fancy ones out there. And by the way, just a fun fact here. I just want to show you. Don't even listen to me. Here, here's a fact right here, guys. Um, mattresses have a markup of 20 times. So basically, a thousand dollar mattress costs like fifty dollars to a hundred dollars to actually make. So if you think you're getting like a quality product, oh my god, the answer is no, you're getting ripped off. So don't spend a bunch of money on this dumb stuff as far as like a mattress, okay? Now what else do you need? Well, if you need a mattress, you also need a box spring. That's basically what goes like under the mattress to actually support it. Or you can just get a bed frame and that also supports it. And by the way, if you are on a very low budget, just get a Japanese um 
mattress, which is basically like $85 put on the floor, and that's basically it. But most people can basically afford a decent um like box spring or for example, a good foundation. So what I would do is I would go over to Facebook. Facebook and buy this stuff used for cheap, okay? So if you go to Amazon, this is gonna cost you a lot of money, like $150, $200. But here, you can get those same items that people paid money for, for cheap. So right here, $40 to $100, to 150 is the max I would personally pay. This one right here is pretty cool, cool stuff, right? This is a pretty decent one. And she's also selling the mattress. So if you wanna buy the mattress, you could buy. It's just not my style of stuff to buy. And oh, by the way, when you go to Facebook, you always wanna click the person to see all the other stuff they're selling. And in this case, she's selling pots and pans, fryer stuff little bowls, little dishes, um, storage. So always take advantage and buy all the stuff people are basically selling when they're moving because you need it because you're moving. Do that. And by the way, look at this, right? This bed frame is one of those Ikea ones. And guess what? She's selling it also. And it's pretty cool. $200 instead of $400 retail. One big thing I will say, guys, okay? Whenever you're buying stuff like this on, on Facebook, don't be afraid to negotiate. It's a it's a it's a bad frame. People are not gonna want to pick it up. They want to sell it. They have a deadline in mind, so negotiate. Don't pay full price for none of this stuff. On top of that, you also have. By the way, here's what you would be paying for this stuff. For example, like on on Amazon, like a hundred dollars, one seventeen, one twenty. 100, you know what I'm saying? You could buy it for cheap. Honestly, it's not really that expensive, but if you want to get it for even cheaper, um, going ahead and get it on Facebook is the best deal, obviously. Also, a laundry hamper. I would not buy this on Amazon because it's like $12, $20, $32. It's expensive compared to what you could get it for, for example, over here on Walmart. So you can get it for $8 in Walmart, $26. Don't buy this one, um, but $8. Nine dollars. The one I bought was fancy, so I paid fifteen dollars. Um, I would not do it again, but nine dollars is a pretty good deal. Or just go to your local 99 cent store and buy it there. Don't assume that everything online is better. It's not, it's the same exact thing, and not all prices are the same. And by the way, you can shop at Walmart online and they bring it to your home, so don't think. Oh, but Walmart, you have to go there. I don't have a Walmart next to my house. Doesn't matter. You can basically just go, okay? Now, another thing is closet storage and mirrors, okay? Now, no offense, but a lot of ladies, they love buying these very massive mirrors. Like the whole, like, um, it's like a full size. They put it right there to see the whole body. It's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool stuff. But it's kind of like being like, you remember back in the days where it said like the Indians and they would trade basically um, gold pieces for mirror. It's like the same thing, like trading money, like real money for like a mirror. I would not do it. So not my style thing. I wouldn't pay more than 30 to like $15 for a mirror. That's just my rule. But if you need a dresser for your stuff, right, for closet space, again, you want to go over to Facebook for this stuff. You can get it for anywhere from $50 to like $120. And this stuff it goes for a lot of money retail. See this stuff? This is massive. And it's only like $120. But if you can negotiate down to like $75, she'll probably do it. And again, you always want to click on the person, see what else they're selling. And she's selling a dress, which I'm not interested in, but you get the point, okay? Always click on the person to see what else they're selling. And here's another one. This one is $50. Comes with a good amount of space and also a mirror. And even if it's cheap, still negotiate because it could be cheaper. Um, don't be afraid to negotiate, guys. That's what you're here for, okay? Don't be afraid to negotiate. Now, mirrors. What I told you before, guys, okay? This can be anywhere from $50, $15 to $5, like for a mirror. People hate these mirrors. That's the one I had in my house for like the first like <laughs> like three years. So it is what it is. You can see yourself. Don't spend money on a mirror. Like people spend like 150, 200. They see this is the fancy one I told you guys about that girls love. Um, not my style, man. Just just don't buy this foolishness. Buy the stuff when you when you when you can afford it. But when you first move out, just just buy cheap stuff. You don't really need anything fancy and crazy. And obviously, you need pillows and like um a bed set for your actual bed and the curtains. And I would buy all this stuff in the 99 cent store or at Walmart. Not 
not i repeat amazon amazon isn't really that cheap when it comes to this stuff but overall if you need for example pillows seven dollars four dollars i get it okay like the fancy gel ones that are oh my gosh it's so cool uh 120 dollars. don't buy that stuff it's stupid buy it for four dollars eight dollars you'll get used to it and you'll be just fine trust your boy and then if you need a bed set guess what here it is, $52, a seven piece bed set. So what does it come with? It comes for all the stuff for the pillows, the stuff for the actual bed sheets, the stuff for your actual blanket and everything you need for your bed for $50. And if you wanna get it for cheaper, check Amazon on this too, cause Amazon sometimes competes here with Amazon with one Walmart or check for example, your 99 cent store or Marshalls or Target. But then at that point, you spend more on gas than you would by just basically buying it here on Walmart. So. Um, Walmart, pretty good when it comes to this stuff. But overall, that's basically it. As far as like a bedroom. Again, the list is down below. But overall, you can get it all for $280. And you have everything you need, including a bed, a bed frame, pillows, and everything you need in your entire bedroom. Notice I didn't include, for example, like um lamps. And I didn't include like a little like um nightstand. Because all those things are things that you want, but you don't really need. But where do I put my phone? On the floor. Put it on the floor, okay? You don't need it. And when you're broke, you can basically afford not to buy all the stuff that you don't need, okay? Now, the second most important room is gonna be, obviously, your living room. You're probably gonna spend a lot of time there. Now, what do you need for a living room? You're gonna need a sofa, a TV, TV stand, coffee table, and also, potentially, a dining table. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to get this stuff for very cheap, all right? so. Here we go, Facebook, my favorite place. Yes, you can get a couch for $100, legit. And this is just not a couch, it's also a couch with a bed inside of it. So if your first apartment is gonna be a studio apartment, well, you got a sofa and you also got a mattress and boom, you're ready to go for $100. The catch is with this stuff, when you go, you wanna inspect it. Not for stains, they're probably gonna have a stain or two, it doesn't really matter but like to make sure there are no bugs on it and just verify it, okay? Don't don't assume that everything has bugs on it because people talk themselves into buying a $1,000 sofa that way, but just go check it out and see what's up and then if you don't like it, just leave. And yeah, you're probably gonna have to rent a U-Haul or ask a friend to help you out, but renting a U-Haul for like 50 or $100 in a day is gonna be way better than buying one of these things for retail. You don't wanna do that. So for a sofa, I wouldn't spend more than 100 to $250 overall. And my sofa cost $2,000. I got it for like $300 from this, um, um what is it? Like a, re a real estate apartment sale and they needed to get rid of the furniture so they sold me the stuff for very, very cheap. So I'm very happy with that. As far as the TV stands, TVs are very complicated because you can get a new TV for the price of a used TV because TVs have gotten so cheap the people that bought them before want to sell them for like a good price, but it's so cheap at this point. So it's up to you on how you want to buy it. But I wouldn't spend more than 100 to 250 for a TV for the first apartment, honestly. And here it is right here, as far as like the TV stuff. You could buy it on, on Facebook for like, you know, like $150, $200. A good size TV, good quality. Samson, 50-inch TV, $200. It's not really bad, you know. I can't say it's bad. And again... Click on the person, because usually they're selling stuff. Look at this, right? She's selling cabinets, a coffee maker, an instant pot cooker, a mirror. She's selling a lot of stuff. So always, always check what else they're selling and then try to get a bundle deal and save a lot more money. Always do that. Um, but yeah, you can get a cheap TV for cheap and a, and a new TV also for cheap. Like for example, where's the, look at this, $144 for a 32 inch TV, I, I don't like this brand though, but yeah. Or you could buy an Amazon TV, um, but they can be a little bit more pricey and expensive. But you could buy an old TV, like those old big TVs that aren't smart, and just buy one of these and connect it to the back of the TV, and then now your old TV has Netflix on it, has Hulu and everything you need, and that way, you don't need to spend the money on, uh, on a new TV that has smart features. So that's also a good thing. Now. As far as TV stands, I wouldn't spend more than $5 to $60 on them. Tommy, that sounds unrealistic. The answer is it's not unrealistic. I'm gonna tell you why, because you can literally find these things for that cheap. Here's one right here. 
for five dollars. This is five dollars. And you might say, Tommy, well, this is too small because most TVs they're like like wide. Um, the answer is that's not true because you can also buy this stuff from Amazon, which makes like a wide TV, a normal TV that you can put, you put on a table, and then boom, you're good to go. But you can buy a, a good one for like fifty bucks or hundred dollars, and you have like a very fancy Wayfair one where you're not paying three fifty for it. It's like an idiot. But yeah, it's pretty cool stuff, honestly. So yeah, TV, TV stand, just buy that stuff used and get one of these stuffs to make it even cheaper for yourself. Coffee table, here, $29. That's what I got in my current living room right now. This coffee table cost me $29. Buy this, super cheap, or go to a garage sale or check Facebook also, you might find it for cheaper. And then lastly, here you go, dining tables. Um, again, for this, I wouldn't spend more than fifty to two hundred dollars. And do me a favor: when you go on Facebook, over here are the filters. Make your price limits your budget, so that way you don't look at things that are fancy but you can't afford. Obviously, this one, literally right here, this one is fifty dollars, and it comes with is he is he including the seats? I'm not sure if he's in, yeah yeah number of seats is four seats. And guess why it's so cheap? Because the guy was not the cleanest person and he's only selling oh yeah he sold his his um what did he sell for three thousand five hundred oh it's an, it's an apartment an apartment okay an apartment never mind all right but this is why it's, it's like basically renting i mean selling for so cheap because of the cup stains who cares just put a little mat over it and you can get it for fifty dollars and it has four chairs and everything so and eighty dollars here look at this one right here pretty like old-fashioned but it's also pretty cheap so if you're fancy and you want old-fashioned stuff you can also get this for cheap. Check the person always um, because you want to make sure that they're not selling anything else. But yeah, this stuff, pretty cheap. You can basically, between, like, again, like between 250 to like, what, 350 um, Maybe even less if you're pretty cheap like I am, okay? So yeah, not as expensive as you probably thought. That's what I'm telling you. It doesn't take that much money at all to furnish your apartment the right way if you know what you're doing. Now, things are gonna get exciting. Just kidding, it's just a bathroom, okay? So what do you need for a bathroom? People spend thousands of dollars on bathroom stuff, okay? Especially when they buy a house. But again, you're just basically um, your first apartment, so you don't need that much stuff. So as far as that, you need like a towel, obviously, bath mats, um, plunger, a little vanity for your storage, but that's optional. A little mirror, potentially, if it doesn't come with it. And also, for example, um, a toilet paper holder you also need that because not all apartments come with that surprisingly but yeah for most of the stuff i'm gonna be on walmart and amazon and home depot because you gotta compare prices always like my grandma taught me for towels though twelve dollars you get all the towels you need four body towels two top towels and then four little small towels for twelve dollars you can't beat this price you get this stuff that's it final and it's actually pretty good. It's not like the towels where you have to like when you rub it in and like the whole towel is on your body now. No, like it's, it's, it's good quality stuff. And then you can get um, a bath mat. This costs $20. I would not buy this on Amazon or Walmart. Before, I would go to the 99 cent store and see if I can get it for like $15 to $10 because you can find it there for cheap also. But look at this, right? This exact item is $20 here on Walmart, and it's the same one, in my opinion, same picture also, look, the same exact picture, um, it's $29, well, $28, okay, so you always wanna compare prices, that's what my grandma told me to do that. Plunger, $4, don't be tricked by these like little fancy ones with the cover and then so on, just, just get a fancy little bucket, you put it in there, whatever it is, but $4 for a plunger, not that expensive at all, um, then you also have, for example, a little vanity if you need more storage for the wall, like $20, $15. Don't spend all your money on it. Look at this one, right? This one is by Ikea. It's pretty fancy, obviously. And look at the picture. So boom, you have a lot of storage for like all your stuff, cool stuff. Always click the person. See what else they're selling. Sneakers, pluggable. I don't know what it is. But they're always selling an AC unit. That also can be for your apartment, right? So always check for what else are they selling. Toilet paper holder. This is $6 to $7. Don't get one of those fancy rack things for $17 to $10. It's so expensive for no reason. Just drill a hole in the wall. 
for like um seven dollars. But if you don't have a drill, don't spend fifty dollars on a drill, right? <laughs> just just buy one of these ones for like ten dollars and, and and call it a day. This is Home Depot, by the way. I'd buy this from Home Depot because oh, also on Amazon, Amazon has a good one for like six dollars, and it's actually pretty modern and pretty fancy if you're into it. Okay, who puts a toilet paper like this? Like has to be like a complete savage. Uh uh uh. A savage like who does that like nobody does that don't do that or just unsubscribe from my channel right now like who does that okay but that's it so far we have bedroom living room and bathroom what else are we missing here well by the way i'm not including your soap for your hair your shampoo and all that stuff because obviously and your and your ear stuff like that stuff is just like subjective on what you use i can't i can't go that deep into your life because i don't you know what i'm saying it's a lot of people out there so i'm not sure what you're into um but the last one is the kitchen and by far the kitchen is the most expensive one like relative okay but check it out and obviously for the kitchen you're gonna need dishes cups mugs um plates pots pans knives and you know like spatulas big spatulas small spatulas all the stuff and one thing I noticed is that when I tried to be cheap with this stuff, it didn't last. Um, knives especially, like they just got dull very quickly. So it's worth it to spend a little bit more money on it to actually get some good quality stuff. Um, and if you buy them individually, it can kind of add up to more money than it would just by buying a set and being done with it. And I would not be afraid to buy these things used either. But Tommy, it's a plate. Someone used it. That's disgusting. The answer is... <laughs> How many times have guests came into your house, used the plate, you wash it, you put it away, and you use it later, right? It's soap. It cleans everything, okay? So just relax. But yeah, if I wanted plates, I wouldn't spend more than $12, well, $30 to $50. Let's be more realistic here. But you can get these plates right here on, on Facebook, and you can get like a whole like plate, like a lot of plates. Like if you want to be like a fancy princess or whatever you want to be, like who, who uses this stuff, you know? Um, but yeah, like, like for cheap. And by the way, negotiate always. This I would get. This is $40 <clears throat> and it comes with small plates, big plates, small bowls, smaller bowls, and bigger bowls. Cups, small cups, and six mugs. Like this is a good deal. This is a good deal for $40. I would probably offer her $30 and probably get this ASAP, okay? But yeah, it's, it's cheap stuff. I would just do that. Um, you also need, for example, um, silverware. You can buy this like for cheap, but if you want to get some very good quality one used, you can also buy them here for like $20. And sometimes you can also find them for like a dollar. Like people that are basically moving out and they don't want them anymore and they just want to get rid of it, you can get them for a dollar. And also check the Craigslist free section because you can find those there also for free on the Craigslist free section. Like a lot of stuff can be found there for free. Maybe I'll go over there at the end of this video to show you guys what's up over there. Also, but look, right? If you want to buy this stuff, like, you know, brand new, this is plastic. So I wouldn't buy this because plastic sucks. Um, but here, right? Ceramic, $50. If you want to buy this one, it's $40. Comes with big plates, small plates, some mugs and so on. You're not going to get as many mugs as the girl was going to give you, but this is also pretty good, right? It's, it's not really that bad, and it's but out of stock, right? So it's, it's all to you. Silverware can be like $10, $32, you know, it all depends on what you're looking for. But yeah, this stuff is not expensive, but I would buy it in bulk. Well, not in bulk, like a, like a set of it. And then you have knives. Knives are tricky because if you're stupid, you would get caught here. So check this out, guys, okay? You have, um. wow, I saw it earlier. So yeah, here it is, here it is, here it is. So this lady right here is selling these knives. It's a set of 12 pieces for $50, right? She had it for $75, but there it is, right? Oh my gosh, so cool, right? KitchenAid, boom, boom. But look, you can get the whole thing new from, um, I think here, check it out, for like $25. Well, this is only like a little set, but also this one down here um, from, from like a different, obviously, and this is a 15 set for $40. But yeah, when it comes to knives, I would spend a little bit more money and you can buy them like some good quality knives like for a good price and just buy like, a good quality knife because you don't want this stuff to get dull and I guess you have to replace it and so on. So yeah, for me, worth spending some money on. And this pots and pans, very important here. 80 bucks. These are the exact same ones I bought my mom when I was in, um, when I was in New York and I paid like 130 bucks for them. And look, $80 right here, and they're pretty much like brand new. You know what I'm saying? Like, no big deal. 
So yeah, you wash this. Anything that can be washed with soap and water, don't be afraid to basically um like like buy it used. That would be my advice. Um, but overall, guys, that's basically it. I didn't mention, for example, um like lamps because that's like ten dollars in Walmart. I didn't mention, for example, also like appliances like microwave, blenders, ovens, um, air fryers, and so on, because those things you you, you don't really need them per se. And I'm gonna be honest, okay? Before you buy one of these things, wait three to ten days. And if you find yourself like you kind of like, I could use it, but there's an alternative. Like, don't spend money on it. Like, I bought an air fryer. I've used it like three times. I bought an oven. Like, I barely used it. I bought like a like a, a waffle maker. I, I made waffle like once, like, like in three months. Like, it's just like all these little things. They don't seem to be like a big deal because they don't cost that much money. But when you buy a lot of little things, they add up to a lot of money. So that would be my advice. If you are on a budget, you're moving out for the first time, and this is what you basically need, don't be afraid to buy things used. And by the way, if you buy a couch or a mattress used, that's fine. Don't worry about it. But just get the thing cleaned or clean it yourself, okay? And then put like a a plastic wrap. They actually sell that, like, a, and it won't feel like it's plastic. Once you put the other stuff over it, and it's like $10, $15, and that way like you're fully protected. So don't be afraid to buy used things. That's my advice. Um, thanks for watching, though, guys. And I'm out. Long-term team, out. Subscribe, like this video if you want to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. Link is down below to call me and talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. Ha! Almost forgot here. Here's how you check Craigslist, the free section. So you go here on Google, type in Craigslist. Obviously, click your state, New York. Um, and right here where it says for sale, there's actually a free section. So let me zoom in all the way here and boom, you have right here, the free section, click the free section takes you right here and look at all this, but you have like free doors, free chairs, um, free cabinet stuff, like wooden shelves, like free sofas, see free sofas, free cabinets, free chairs, free, free cat. You know what I'm saying? Like free tea, free everything. Everything here is free. And there are so many free stuff. Like this right here, a shelf is also free. Um, free kids, outdoor playhouse, their free racket, free magazines. Like there's so much free stuff. Like free stuff everywhere. Sofas for free, uh, ACs for free, luggage for free, cabinets for free. So don't be afraid to check out this stuff. And usually the one caveat is when you go on Craigslist, First, it's free, but you got to pick it up. It's free. You just got to pick it up. That's it. But you always want to go during the day or also during the day with a friend. I'm always very careful and always like research everything. Tell someone where you're going exactly because you, you can never be too safe when it comes to Craigslist. Okay, that's my advice. And now I'm really out.